Hey, Darren. Uh, several offensive linemen have talked, whether it be in the spring, uh, in fall camp, just about how you guys want to dominate, how you guys want to just uh, essentially accomplish all these things this season. Uh, it's one thing to say it. Obviously, it's another thing to do it. I mean, what kinds of things are you seeing where guys are falling through on some of the, the things you guys have mentioned you want to do? Yeah, I think uh, something that, you know, we get coached on here at Alabama is how you practice, how you play. So, you know, if you don't, if you talk about it, you don't practice it, then you know, it's not going to show up on game day. So I think um, something that we've developed is like, you know, carrying that in practice, you know, finishing every rep how we want to. Um, if a rep isn't as good as we want to, we'll talk about it, you know, we'll meet about it and then, you know, figure out how we can correct it for the next rep. But it all starts with practice and how you, you know, how you finish in practice. Now that fall camp's come to a close, what do you feel like between what the coaches were saying or the, the speakers they brought in was kind of the message that the coaches were wanting y'all to get as you get ready for the season? Yeah, um, uh, personally, I think the connect that I made was a lot. We brought in a lot of winners, a lot of people who excelled at their um, profession. So I would say um, just, you know, how you dominate each aspect of how you live. That's what they talked about, whether it's on the field or if it was uh, off the field, you know, just kind of dominate and uh, how that connects to every aspect of life. Alabama hasn't had a, a true freshman start at left tackle mm. uh, since 2014. Not saying that Caden's going to be named it, but if he does, what has he shown the, the unit to, to provide the confidence that he's able to do that? Uh, I think everybody competing for the tackle position has shown a lot, you know, whether it's Pritchard or whether it's Caden. Um, they've both developed a lot since the spring, and um, I know uh, we appreciate them, you know, getting better and taking every rep uh, seriously. Hey, Darren, thanks for being here. Um, everybody's talking about this quarterback position, and it's like almost to the annoying point. As you guys inside the locker room, how do you guys deal with that from um, not letting it divide the actual locker room and kind of what's the mindset in terms of supporting who you guys eventually choose to, to lead the quarterback? Yeah, um, kind of have to block out the noise, focus on what's important. Um, we know that every day is opportunity for everybody to show you know, their skills, show what they can do. So, you know, in the, in the locker room, we, uh, we appreciate the fact that they're competing hard, that they're all giving their, their all. So I think just blocking out the noise and kind of focusing on your job is what we, what we think about. Uh, obviously, the, the big difference is one position snaps the ball, one doesn't. But to you, what's maybe been the biggest difference or transition from center to guard? Uh, like in a football aspect, I would say just playing off the ball is a little bit different for me. You know, when you're a center, you're like on level zero. Um, not a lot of a lot, not a, a lot of separation between you and the defender. So I think uh, the biggest difference was that was like playing off the ball, having a little bit more time until you, you know engage with the defender. The RPO has been a concept in football the last handful of years, and a lot of focus goes into how challenging it is for a quarterback. But how challenging is it for the offensive line to run the RPO, not going downfield, but also or protecting the uh, protecting mm -hmm. the quarterback, getting good good results out of the RPO? Yeah, uh, I think what we're supposed to do is just block every play like it's a run. You know, we don't know if it's getting passed or handoff, but, you know, our job is to block the run. And then if it gets passed, you know, chase the ball, help the ball carrier. But I think what we're taught is just to block the run and, you know, let the quarterback decide whatever he thinks is best. You get to go against the defense every day in practice. Uh, how, how good can this defense be? Uh, so far, this defense has shown a lot. They've shown a lot of uh, intensity, a lot of, like, flying around to the ball. We have a lot of playmakers on defense, and it's exciting, you know, to go out there and compete with them every day and see, like, how true, I mean, how good they could become. What's your relationship like with Seth, and how is that kind of a luxury on this team to have both of y'all that have such experience at center and on the offensive line? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm old now, so Seth's kind of old now, too. But, you know, we've known each other for what, four years now, um, developed a great relationship, you know, me and him both playing the center position, both playing. Um, it comes with a lot of similarities, you know, like we both do the same things. We both have the same mindset. So I think it just the relationship off the field carries onto the relationship on the field, whether it's communication or just having fun out there. Anything else for Jerry? Appreciate it, sir.